do it, like I said, the Meta Knight and the Mario coming in. You can do it. You can do it. Pokemon Trainer just giving those words of support, I love it. Oh, button check. I is think? It? No. No, no, now there's only Okay, I just saw S2H like hit Zenny and I was like, oh, this is obviously just a quick check. I just forgot whose team he was on for a good second. Oh, oh. right now S2H quick stock off. going in. Strodo even tried to go in and help him, but Meta Knight's down throw. When he when he hits you with the with the boots, that's all active hitbox, so it'll sometimes mess you up if you get too close. Yeah. Oh, great coverage on that dimensional game. Actually, kind of catching both players. Great recovery from Strodo right there. Yeah, Meta, uh, S2H did a really good drop of this, drawing him and sending him down, but Strodo Oh my god, that combo! That was disgusting. And early stocks all across the board right here. This Pokemon team looks like they've been doing double battles since, you know, level 5. Yeah, they've been they've been in the VGC for too long. But right now, s is still doing a really good job of finding these openings and just using all of Meta Knight's aerials to just hit you off. Oh my god! Ah, oh, that, that one hurt. s 2 uh, s 2 you already losing two stocks very quickly. But the down throw into the photo from Schroeder, not going to find the stock, sends S2H across the stage though. Right now, S2H is still here, he's still alive and well, he's making sure he's just camping out in the air, and Absolutely getting whipped out of the air. Incredible right here from the red team, stocks flying everywhere, Schroeder somehow staying alive through all of that. He doesn't want to die. He's not ready yet. Pandaren says, hey man, I need you to stop cheating here, like, it it's your turn, okay? <laughs> Well, booting him out with the Charizard. Trying to get that, the read with the backer, but just barely gonna miss. Yeah, that backer narrowly missed right there. It really looked like it should have hit me. Ooh, Pandarian again had that read. Are we gonna get a cape? Yep, yeah, get away from cape. me. I I like the attempt, but it was really an all or nothing situation. Even then, still a big percent difference for the red team. But right now, Scott's not gonna try. SWH's not gonna try to stop. Tries to get a bit of a ladder, but not having enough uh, percentage to actually take him off the top. Right now, S2H is going to need to get another one of those gimps that he gets really early to make sure he brings himself back into it. I mean, they are still even, but red percentages. Gets the read with the F smash. Yeah, great pro smash. I love the shadow sneak right there. Keep himself alive. What a Ooh, down smash. That was that, great. That, yeah, that was a really good down smash coming in. He, uh, he caught S2H trying to drill him again, and just that Hydro Pump did a really good job of pushing him away, and he was able to kill I, for a second, I thought he was going to be able to make it back for free, but you know what? He had it. Big ass mask coming in. Right now, if Senyu, he can get this stock off of Pandaren, it's going to be really scary. Yeah, Senyu's not entirely out of this game quite yet. Pandaren's at very high percent, but he knows that he's staying back, letting Schroeder do all the grunt work right now. Zenyu is a force to be reckoned with. You might see this as a 2v1, but Zenyu's like, this isn't free. You're going to work for it. Oh, definitely not free. He's going to be weaving in and out, trying to just find straight hits, he's real solid at lining up the safe backers. Tries to two frame him with the down smash. Oh, he, yeah, he's off. trying to end him. Great call out with the up air. Now you have to land against both these characters, expending the air dodge. I wonder what Pandaren wants. Yeah, he, he, he's trying to let you know about policies oh. and gets a jab lock, why not? I like how he still went for it. By Pandaren though, keeping his teammates safe. Finding that up air onto Zenyu. I like how we still win for it. He jab locked me. He's like, I mean, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> Make me. And you know, that's exactly what they did. That was that was a really good opener from the from S2H and Zenyu. But unfortunately, uh, Pandarian and Schroeder were able to just close it out, get so much damage in so quickly. But I can still see them taking that back. S2H was living for so long. He was stock tanking just like he was supposed to. So if uh, Zenyu is able to not lose these stocks as quickly... I could see them taking this. Yeah, I mean, really just great, great stuff from the red team. I've said it over and over, the teamwork is insane. It feels like every time one of them gets a hit, the other one is always perfectly positioned to find a follow-up. I don't know if you saw that. Schroeder did another uh, RPS. He won. Oh, my <laughs> God, he is on fire today. Yeah, I, I feel bad for whoever he has to play today. Well, it's always Schroeder's counter I right, but... This game's starting off real strong for the red team once again. The blue team already racking up 78% between the two of them. 
I am uh, I am curious about this battlefield pick. I'm sure Zenyu wants these platforms to be able to extend his Mario combos a lot. s 2 going to be able to circle camp and air camp and just make sure he can stay away if he needs to. Yeah, it really just comes down to how do they deal with, you know, Pandarian's hitboxes. These hitboxes on Pokemon Trainer are huge, and they're just eating up all of Red Team's off or Blue Team's options, rather. Fode right there is going to send, send you off, not going to find the stock yet, but very close. Right now, uh, Zenyu was starting a bit of his combos, but not going to get anything. Alright, there's the up air. Well, up. Members of the blue team in the top glass one right there, not going to lose it quite yet. Oh, but right now, Zenyu's got He's got the Zard trap right there. Oh, and actually, Schroeder interrupting the show loop with his own up air, but that phone smash, great spacing from Zenyu. And yeah, now, all of a sudden, blue team takes the lead, though, still not dying. Great stuff from S2H and Zenny right there. Like I said, they both can just carry you off the top so easy with their up airs. That was great coverage coming in from uh, I'm so shocked for the red team. Yeah, he planned it. Nothing else to say. So completely even right here. Everyone at pretty low percents. Stored the only one at the at, at 34, but right now S2H is getting carried to the top. I. Uh, Wait a minute. Now all of a sudden, it's heavily in red team's favor once again. Wait a minute, this was even. It was. Going the blue team was in the lead for like half a minute. Oh, great Pokemon switch there. Scott getting a little too anxious trying to get that up B. It wouldn't have killed, it was just going to be damaged, so I'm really disappointed that he went for it. Great coverage from S2H right there. He stopped in there and lining up that down here onto Zenyu, but he does get an up here, and that is the stop. Yeah, blue team, red team really pulling ahead here, both having four stocks. This is going to be really difficult for uh, S2H and Zenny to bring this back. All right, down to the Nair. Going to force S uh, Stroder off, but not going to get a stop away. All right, that's a, that's a start right there. Going to get that stock. You really need to take off Stroder. He's the one who's been he's been having so many stocks. He's been stocking. He's been staying back and being slippery like Greninja is supposed to be. Right now, Scott is going off. Or S2H is going off. I, and, you know, even now, it, the game is still rather even, only 7% on S2H, but big damage coming up on both of them in these uh, divided 1v1s. Yeah, right now, what the blue team needs to do, they need to avoid just getting in, hit into these jungle situations. Stroder has the abilities with Greninja to pop him up right into that space where Ivysaur can do that up here. He has dash tag, he has down tilt, he has it all. And as soon as they get caught in the air, this is where all the, they take so much damage. I am. That's the stock off of Zenyu. S2H has to find a way to get the stock off of Pandarian right now so he can 1v1 Stroder. But down throw into the up air is going to be the two. Oh, that that, that did not look difficult at all. He just down threw him. As soon as he down threw him, Stroder already like just kind of got up. He's like, all right, that's it. Yeah. That up air killed can even on Battlefield. stop them? Okay, all right, Pandarian. All right, all right. Stroder through rock all three times. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sometimes that's the play. Uh, but uh, Stroder and Pandaria are going to take that 2 0. Can they were looking, anyone stop this team today? They though? were looking really good at the beginning, but as soon as Zenyu got caught in the air, he took so much damage. S2H wasn't fast enough to be able to go and save him, and that might have been the deciding factor. If he was able to go over and interrupt that, the fact that Zenyu was getting juggled so much and there was not much more could do about it. Yeah, really aren't. I just can't get over how in sync this red team looks all day. But, I mean, blue team still, they did have the combos. They had some good coverage. You know, there were a lot of times where I thought the stock was going to be gone, and all of a sudden, you know, Zenyu was there to save S2H or the other way around. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm excited to see them. I'm sure they'll make a bit of a loser's run and come back. Definitely. These are two players that you cannot sleep on. Um. I'm curious to see who we're going to get up next. I would assume a Master Mario Prodigy set. Maybe. Maybe, hopefully. You know, they are the other top two seeds, so I want to see how they're progressing. Yeah, we're just we're just waiting now. I think everyone's caught in a match right now. So uh, I'm going to yeah. take this time to take a look at the bracket.